What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. To keep your vehicle from rolling back when you start up, you should partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off of the brake. Why should you know what traffic is doing on all sides? You need to know that you have room to change lanes or to stop. What is controlled braking? Controlled braking is applying the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Whenever you're about to pass a vehicle, a pedestrian, or a cyclist, you should assume that they haven't seen you. Convex mirrors show a wider area than flat mirrors, but they also make everything seem farther away than it really is. What are three factors of total stopping distance with hydraulic brakes? Perception, reaction, and braking distance. When backing a trailer, you can make corrections to reposition your vehicle by pull-ups. Empty buses don't require more stopping distance than loaded buses because they usually have as much braking power when empty as when loaded. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a two-lane road? Within 10 feet of the rear, 100 feet of the rear, and 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. When should you use your high beam headlights? Whenever you can, providing the law allows it. In holding your steering wheel, what's the proper way to place your hands? Firmly with your hands on opposite sides of the wheel. If you have to set out warning reflective triangles by the highway, you should hold them between yourself and oncoming traffic. What are some things to do when you are backing your vehicle? Look at your path. Back slowly. Back straight back. What are some defects to look for? in the suspension system. Spring hangers that are cracked or broken. When should you downshift for a curve? Downshift before entering the curve. Besides looking for vehicles coming into your lane, looking for traffic means watching for brake lights of slowing vehicles ahead. What is the purpose of cargo blocking and bracing? To keep cargo from sliding, falling, and getting out of balance. When you need to slow down, you may have to warn drivers behind you by tapping lightly on the brake pedal to flash the brake lights.
When backing a trailer, you turn the steering wheel opposite the direction you want to go. What is the major cause of most serious skids? Driving too fast for road conditions. Antifreeze is effective under hot conditions as well as cold. What's the maximum distance between tie downs to prevent cargo sliding, shifting? Use a tie down every 10 feet. What should you do when using a fire extinguisher to fight a fire? Aim at the base of the fire. When checking tires, what are some problems you should look for? Bad wear, cuts or other damage, tread separation, cracked valve stems. How do you know you have the engine speed and road speed to shift gears? By listening to the sound of the engine. If you're using a helper when you're backing your vehicle, the helper should agree on the signal for stop and stand where he can be seen by you. Wheels or rims that have been repaired by welding are not safe. What are some items to check, especially before driving in winter weather? The coolant antifreeze level. The windshield washer antifreeze fluid level. Besides watching the traffic behind you, you can use your rear view mirrors to watch for possible tire fires. What is good policy for using your brakes when pulling off the road? Try to avoid using your brakes until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. Should you always be looking into the distance ahead? No. Shift your attention back and forth, near and far. At night, where can you look to avoid the glare of oncoming traffic? Try to look at the right side of the road and watch the sidelines. Why can you never assume you will clear the heights posted at overpasses? because some roads can cause your vehicle to tilt. How long does it take to stop a heavy vehicle going 55 miles per hour on a dry, level road? About the length of a football field, or about 6 seconds. You wish to turn right, and you must swing wide, so you should turn wide as you complete the turn.
Some newer vehicles have progressive shifting. What does that mean? The RPMs at which you shift become higher as you move up in the gears. What could rust around the wheel nuts mean? The wheel nuts could be loose. If a vehicle coming towards you has its high beams on, you should keep your lights on low beam and look off to the right. What's true about downshifting before you reach a long downhill grade? Downshifting helps prevent the brakes from overheating and losing braking power. Whether backing a straight truck or a combination vehicle, you should back and turn towards the driver's side. How often should you check your tires when driving in very hot weather? You should check your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles. Because of the size of your vehicle, you may wish to flash your brake lights to alert drivers behind you of hazards that are ahead of you. What's the purpose of brake retarders? Retarders are to help slow down the vehicle and to reduce brake wear. What's a good rule as to the speed you should go when driving at night? You should be able to stop within the range of your headlights. Downshifting requires knowing when to shift. To do this correctly, you should Use either the tachometer or speedometer. In making a quick turn, what is a point to remember? Do not apply the brakes when you are turning. How do you lessen the chances of having to make sudden moves to avoid hazards? Watch far enough ahead so hazards can be anticipated. Roads usually become more slippery when the temperature has risen to the point where the ice on the highway begins to melt. What should you do before driving if you're feeling drowsy? Get some sleep. To make a right turn with a large vehicle, you may have to go slower than many car drivers would expect. With a pressurized cooling system, you should not remove the radiator cap until the system has cooled down. What's a danger when traveling alongside other vehicles? You may be trapped in your lane when you need to change lanes.
How far ahead should you look while driving? You should look about 12 to 15 seconds ahead of you while driving. If you're turning left, which lane should you use of the two left turn lanes? Use the turn lane on the right hand side. What can happen if you don't have enough weight on the steering axle? This can make the vehicle more difficult or hard to steer. In turning your vehicle, you should look in your mirrors to make sure that the rear of your trailer will not hit anything. As a commercial driver, what are you responsible for regarding your cargo? You're responsible for inspecting your cargo and knowing that it's securely tied down or covered. If the cargo contains any hazardous materials, you must check to see if placards are required. What's a problem that you can have when using your mirrors? There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. What's the minimum amount of tread depth that your tires should have? 4 30 seconds of an inch on the front wheels and 2 30 seconds of an inch on all other wheels. A pre-trip inspection should be performed before each trip. When going downhill in a vehicle with an automatic transmission, you select the low range to get greater engine braking. What are some things to do if you are being tailgated? Avoid quick changes of speed or direction. To be sure you know what's happening on the highway around you, don't focus on the mirrors too long. Exhaust system parts should not rub against fuel system parts, tires, or other moving parts of the vehicle. How do you test hydraulic brakes for their stopping action? Go about 5 miles per hour and then push the brake pedal firmly. What's a good rule to remember when using turn signals? If you don't have self-canceling signals, don't forget to turn them off after using them. When traction is poor, as in rain or snow, how should you speed up? Very gradually. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a divided highway? Place them all to the rear, within 10 feet, at 100 feet, and at 200 feet. How often should cargo inspections be made? After every break during driving.
When driving over 40 miles per hour, how much space should you keep in front of you? At least one second for every 10 feet of your vehicle length, plus one second. What is a vehicle condition report? A list of problems found by you. What are two good rules to remember for using your vehicle's turn signals? Signal early and signal continuously. Before starting down a hill, to be sure that you are in the proper gear, you should downshift before you start down a hill. How does tire pressure affect hydroplaning? Hydroplaning is more likely to occur when tire pressure is low. When should you help out other drivers by signaling that it's safe to pass? Never. Never signal to let others know it's safe to pass. What's probably your best driving speed? Traffic is moving 35 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. 35 miles per hour is probably your best driving speed. Turned on brake retarders apply their power when you let up all of the way on the accelerator pedal. What's the minimum number of tie downs that you should have? You should have at least two tie downs. Should you turn the retarder off when the road is wet or snow covered? Yes, the retarder may cause a skid. Slight melting will make ice wet, which is more slippery. Wet ice. At dawn or dusk, or in rain or snow, when it's difficult for others to see you, you might turn on your low beam headlights. Since air pressure increases with temperature increases, you should leave the tires alone since the air pressure will decrease when the tires cool off. Speed limits posted at freeway off-ramps may not be safe speeds for larger vehicles or heavily loaded vehicles. How do you test hydraulic brakes for a leak with the vehicle stopped? Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure and hold for five seconds. When merging with traffic, you should use your mirrors to make sure the gap in the traffic is large enough for your vehicle to enter. What are some steering defects to look for? Missing nuts, bolts, cotter keys, or other parts. The amount of space you need to cross or enter traffic is affected by the weight of your load. How many times more distance does it take to stop when the speed is doubled? Four times as much. It takes four times more distance to stop when the speed is doubled. 
What are two factors for knowing when to shift? Using engine speed and road speed. If you have to stop your vehicle in the road to load cargo or passengers, you should flash your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Why do empty trucks usually require greater stopping distances? Empty trucks can bounce and lock up their wheels. What's the only way to stop a four-wheel skid? Let the vehicle slow down, stop turning, and stop braking so hard. What's important about the center of gravity for a load? A high center of gravity means your vehicle is more likely to tip over. Are you required to show your logbook to an officer who is requesting it? Yes. Before putting tire chains on your vehicle, you should check to be sure that the chains have no broken hooks, cross links, bent or broken side chains. If you think that a tire has blown out, what should you do in stopping your vehicle? Hold the steering wheel firmly and don't touch the brakes until the vehicle has slowed. What is black ice? Black ice is a thin layer of ice so clear you can see the road beneath it. As soon as you see your trailer getting off the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift.